Ooh. It's interesting. I like that one a lot. Dum dum dump. I can't tell if this is like an Andy McKee thing or like there's a slap. Let me listen to it again because I think it might be a double tap. That's super interesting. Yeah, it's definitely a guitar hit, but if you listen to it very carefully, it's panned, which is wild. What that means is that the perspective of the guitar, usually like it's it'll be like in a spot in the mix that'll make us perceive that it's like right there or that it's right there. Right now, it's like this this weird surreal perception where the guitar is is both here and here at the same time. Listen to it again, definitely with headphones. It's kind of it kind of moves a little bit in the panning. It's really interesting. Yeah, that's wild. That's very different. 16 carriages driving away while I watch them ride with She is this is something that uh <laughs> I got to I got to be more patient with when other people bring it to me. This is very much pop singing. She's up close to the mic. It's very speech level. 16 carriages. That said, it's actually a little bit higher and a little bit more I guess supported. To explain supported real quick, that just means the rib cage is expanded. Her larynx is a little high. She's up there, so it's speech-like, but she's a little high, and that's actually quite difficult to make sound comfortable. She's doing a good job of that. Dreams away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long... Yeah, you get that really fast vibrato. 16, 16 carriages. Higher larynx. Here a little bit more. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay, there's actually some interesting stuff to talk about. Let's talk about the very nature of vibrato. We're going to decapitate our friend here, and this is why I do not have friends, aside from also wearing this hat and a shirt that doesn't fit. Usually when we look at the vocal folds, this is the view that we get, but what we don't see when we look at a, a laryngoscope is what happens over here. So this is the cricothyroid muscle. This is responsible for tilting uh, the thyroid cartilage. You get these doohickeys out of the way. These are the vocal folds, and you can see that they're actually connected to the thyroid cartilage. So what ends up happening, what ends up happening is that this larynx will tilt. As the larynx tilts, the folds stretch out a little bit. Now this is not like, this is, there's a, gra there's a gradient here, a continuum rather is the word I'm looking for. So when she's raising her larynx a little bit to tilt, she actually doesn't need to contract it so, so far. The reason why this is significant is because the very nature of vibrato is it's, it's the vocal folds in combination. It's, it's, in, it's like a tug of war between the cricothyroid muscles and the uh, vocal folds. And it's higher and the cricothyroids don't need to contract as much. We get that instability, but it's not as much. Whereas when we contract a lot, there's a lot of that tug of war. So that's why the vibrato gets a little faster versus a little slower. 16 carriages. 16 carriages. Got to pardon my operatic nonsense. I am not Beyonce. This is her domain. That's uh, that's a big intro right there. So not only do we get the, the voice getting more chonk, a little thick with the two C's, I'm, I'm hip with the kids. Not only we're we getting that, but listen to the swelling of the instrumentation in the back. Wow, we get that rolling clap. You hear that? We go back to the guitar. You heard in the intro, this clap on the guitar. Right, so we have that. And then it goes into this rolling thunder clap over here. <laughs> like, not subtle. That's what we call a strong artistic decision. Ooh. Wow, it gets a little stanky. Stanky. I'm what they call chronically Caucasian. The organ is really hot, and so we're getting this kind of distortion, and it's on purpose. This is something that we're seeing again. It used to be very popular in the days of analog. Analog tape saturation is is very, very robust, and it's something aesthetically that we got kind of used to. But as digital distortion came along, a lot of people didn't like the sound. People thought it was abrasive. And now we're seeing it more and more and more. Listen to it carefully. You're gonna you're gonna hear there's something that distorts, there's not a lot of clarity, and it's kinda when the organ first comes in. Night on a long 
It's just, it's such a big contrast between that distortion, chonky sound, and then it just goes right into this clean sound. Big contrast, big artistic decision making. Since was gone astray, had to leave my home at an early age. Ooh. Saw... Early. Ooh. He flips there. I want to hear that again. Astray, had to leave my home at an early age. Yeah, okay. Okay, Beyonce. All right. He's using an aspirate to flip the folds open. An aspirate is just... Oh. And that gives it that kind of that ab ab abrupt opening. It's it's quasi falsetto. It's not quite falsetto. This is another thing with the vocal folds are on a continuum, right? There's not like open and closed, right? There's all of this in between. So she opens them up and most of it's open. When does falsetto start? When does head voice begin? The answer is uh, depends on the person. Not, and not the person as in if it, the, the singer it depends on who's doing the explanation. To go back to this, right? So if I blow everything open and all the vocal folds are all the way open, that would be falsetto. But if I close a little bit, that's what we call head voice. And this is all on a continuum. When they're fully closed, that's full voice, right? All of it's on a continuum. So it's not like falsetto is an on-off switch or head voice is an on-off switch. There's gradients in between. That's why there's so much argument about falsetto and why no one can ever agree. And why we call it the F word. I had to leave my home at an early age. I saw That's really fun. I have, a, I have a hard time with, you know, opera singers, particularly men, we try to eliminate it. So <laughs> the best I could do is... <laughs> probably distorted the mic a little bit. Being able to maintain falsetto, a lot of people like, oh, oh, you cheated, it's falsetto. I, it's a choice, and it's something that you can lose the ability to do. Mama praying, I saw daddy grind, all my tender problems had to leave behind. It's cool. The, it's this like keening almost, da 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 Let's listen to it again. Mama praying, I saw daddy grind, all my tender problems had to leave behind. And we're going to go with that, that H again, except here's the difference. He's now using the H to bring the folds together. To talk about that in just a second, but let's let's hear where she's going with it. Let's not interrupt Beyonce. It's been umpteen summers and I'm not in my bed on the back of the bus in a bunk with the band. Going so hard, gotta choose myself. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. It is not at all where I thought that that was gonna go. I thought she was gonna bring the chonk voice in. I didn't think she was gonna do this. It's been umpteen summers and I'm not in my bed on the back of the bus in a bunk with the band. Going so hard, gotta choose myself. I am so stiff. Beyonce has like got this flow, and I'm like. I can't even move my shoulders because I'm so white. Underpaid and overwhelmed. I might cut clean, but still won't fall. Ooh. Still working all my life, you know. Only got no. Very interesting choice of rhythms. A lot of interesting rhythmic choices here. Only God knows, only God knows. 16 Ooh. carriages driving away. Man, that, that's a big, big, big mix. That's a chonkster. And if you look at the waveform of the of the actual mix, it goes from this to <laughs> like just thick. Watch them ride with my fears away into the summer sunset on a whole She's doing this thing where she brings that H in. She's using that aspirate, but she's doing it in a way. So uh, the vocal folds are interesting. If I blow my air, my my breath through these two pieces of paper, what do you think is gonna happen? Just imagine it in your mind. That's what actually happens are coming together and the more air i put in between these two things the more they come together now there is a point where they do blow apart that's the difference between using an aspirate to bring the folds together really quickly or to blow them apart so what she's doing is she's doing an uh, aspirate abrupt whereas ha ha that breath is coming out and they go ha they come together like that so she's doing that for effect Wow. Really using those consonants. 16 carriages, and then everything goes in with the instrumentation, and it's right on time. This woman knows how to be a recording artist, okay? The feels away. Or whatever it is. Is an aspirate. It's a fricative. Fricative. Bugs Bunny going on. 
Ooh, okay, harmonies. One of the things that's really cool with Beyonce is that she came from an era. There's 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 this sweet spot of recording artists, and we see it with Mariah Carey, and we see it with Beyonce, and there's a very very tight window of people who grew up and started with analog and then transitioned to digital when they were still kind of young. So a lot of people who use digital will use like harmonizers and a lot of different things because they, they have to release those albums very quickly because the ROI in the album is no longer that high. It's a business decision. So all of these different, these different and the harmonies, they're all very intricate. This is not something you can do on a budget. He's using what's called a large diaphragm condenser microphone. I have one right here. If I had my second camera, I would show you what's not in the shot. <laughs> I have panels over here. There's a panel right here. You can't see it. I have to put foam everywhere because the large diaphragm condenser picks up everything and I still need a noise cancel. You need a studio. You need a, this is not something you can do in the bedroom. You need a professional studio to use this kind of microphone and get this quality of sound and then do overdubs. I'll say, not a cheap day. Not that anyone would have expected her to be. I like that, that chew. A little that jaw tension right there. Hide. Now that hide brings in a little crunch. Crunch. That's interesting. This sounds like traffic. Traffic panning right to left, right here. That's cool. So you got a carriage, right? <laughs> right. But instead of carriage, like the image of a car going, shoo, kind of really cool, very nuanced stuff. Oh my God, there's so much going on on that high end in the mix. Keep going. I need to, I need to see, hear what's going on. There's a lot going on. The organ's back. That's for sure. Every time I think I'm going to hear something <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, I need to hear that high end again. She's like, and nope, nope. I'm Beyonce. I do what I want. Snap. Oh. When do the claps come in? It's every other. When when does the uh, the rhythm change? When do the vocals change? This is like you can't easily cover a Beyonce tune because there's so many little nuggets that happen all the time. Still working on my life, you know. Only God knows, only God knows, only God knows. Sixteen. Is the clap coming in? Think you know? Think you know what's gonna happen? And then Beyonce drop kicks your expectations like a professional wrestler who's also simultaneously fabulous. We got it. We got an organ. So the, this distortion is back and it makes it really hard to identify what's happening. It's this cacophonous uh, uh, presence. I think there's like orchestration. I thought there was maybe a tuba. Well, let's let's hear it again. Although I'm going to say let's hear it again. It's going to change, isn't it? Okay. Okay, that's not a tuba. It's just a ridiculously distorted guitar. It says something about the tone quality of a tuba. Sorry, tuba player. I've never met a normal tuba player. Everyone, every tuba player I've met is crazy. Okay. Ooh. 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 The string section and the guitars are playing at the same time. What, what? Beyonce, do you want to add every instrument? Sounds cool, though. Sounds really cool. Oh, it's that harmony. The harmonies are so pretty. Everything going. Where does the voice begin? Where does the organ begin? Where does the guitar begin? It's it, they're, they're filtering everything out super fast. This is so intricate. There's so many details in this recording. <laughs> Notice how that's the first time in the entire tune that we've really had cymbals and how those cymbals actually kind of time together with the claps. 
So I'm wondering how many people they had to clap. They're just like, how? In the innocence was gone astray, had to take it home at an early age. And when we get to her vocals, I mean, it's very sensitive. There's a lot of breathiness to it. Higher larynx. <laughs> talking, about, talking about cymbals, my dog just wanted to, to play a cymbal in the back. I saw mama crying, I saw daddy lying, had to sacrifice and leave my feet. It's very, very, very subtle, but if you listen, you can hear a kick drum, a bass guitar going in on the organ, so there's a bit of an attack. I saw mama crying, I saw daddy lying, had to sacrifice and leave my feet. Yeah, that's a bass guitar, not a kick. It's just coming on the same pitch as the as the organ. So the organ's playing continuous note and the, the bass guitar is coming in. There's so like it nothing's on repeat with her. Nothing's on repeat. Oh man, it's like angelic harmonies right there. Angelic overdubs. Cause we got something to prove in your memory. It's like it's like those harmonies and this this the tone of voice is almost like a kind of like a Disney Disney, but you know it's like a really nice, thick, pretty sound. Old school Disney. That's just pretty. Disney wishes. Disney wants to hire Beyonce, but Disney doesn't have that budget. Does Disney have the budget? Does Disney actually own Beyonce's label? I don't know. Ooh, okay. Slide guitar. It's a slide guitar. I want to know, if we go back, I want to know how many instruments were in this. This is insanity. Driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away. That just ends there? That's nuts. I want to go back. How many? We had a bass guitar. We had an organ. We had a guitar clap. We have a bunch of claps. We have the overdubs. We have her voice. We have a cymbal. Sorted guitar. Slide guitar. I mean, like... Them, okay, I'm not gonna make funny fun of people who copy and paste the recordings. Okay, I might have once or twice or uh, every track I've ever made copy pasta a little bit. You you record something, you're like, that sounds good. It sounds so good. We're not gonna do it again because I have somewhere to be. Beyonce is just standing over there saying, "Bitch." 